Hello everyone. So uh, today I will discuss about a property of water which is known as hardness of water. In the previous uh, video I discussed about what are the basic sources of water and what are the impurities which could be possibly present in the water. Based on that if those impurities are present they may render a property called hardness to the water. So what is that? It's basically a property of water by virtue of which it does not give leather with soap properly. So if the water contains certain salts due to the presence of dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium, there are two three things in this definition. First of all, the salts are dissolved in nature. I hope you remember that the impurities could be dissolved, could be suspended and could be biological. So in the category of dissolved salts, especially of calcium and magnesium, if these salts are present in the water, the water is known as hard water. So if a hard water is taken and as per the definition, it do contains calcium and magnesium salts dissolved in it. Now, if you treat this kind of water with soap, this particular water is not going to give you leather with soap properly. And this property is known as hardness of water. It's the property because of which water does not leather with soap properly. Now, why does it does not leather with soap? Because certain salts like that of calcium and magnesium uh, say for example calcium chloride is present in the water now if you treat this water with soap i hope you remember that the soap was sodium or potassium salt of higher fatty acid so it could be na it could be k sodium or potassium salt of higher fatty acid r c o o h fatty acid and then in this r since I'm saying it's higher fatty acid, this R uh, could be CN, H2N plus 1. So let's say if I take stearic acid, it could be C17H35, that is R, then COONA. So this becomes sodium stearate. So if we have taken this kind of compound, this is a soap right if you take oleic acid it will become oleate if you take palmitic acid it will become palmitate so basically soap is sodium or potassium salt of higher fatty acid now imagine you are having a hard water which is having calcium or magnesium salt and you treat it with soap so what do you think the reaction would be obviously these are going to react so this is the positive ion here this is the positive ion here so at the end uh, you will be having a displacement reaction so here and if i write it like this and then like this so overall if i want to you know balance out the reaction i could uh, write too yeah so this is a precipitate and you call it as a scar this is the down arrow which shows it's a precipitate so if the water is hard if it is having presence of calcium magnesium ions which are dissolved in nature so you cannot see them but they are present in the water what do they do they render hardness to the water so if that water you take and you treat it with soap you'll be immediately able to identify because of the white precipitate which you call it as a scum you'll be able to identify that the water is hard so basically hard water and soft water is the first key you need to find out whether the water is hard or not then only you can utilize it in your further application so if it is hard that means it's not going to give leather with soap properly and that too due to the presence of dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium so i hope if i simply now write another salt like if i take magnesium sulfate i think you'll be able to react it with this and you'll be able to understand that here you will get magnesium stearate and you can change the anion here also so i think you are able to understand the fact now there are two basic types of hardnesses temporary and permanent there is one more which is known as uh, pseudo hardness that is a fake hardness i'll tell you later on about this but as of now we are going to discuss about temporary and permanent hardness let's go ahead with it temporary hardness 
what do you think it is the word itself suggests that it is temporary in nature that means it is a hardness hardness means first point is not going to give leather with soap properly don't forget second point why dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium are present now if these salts some of the salts they may render the hardness in temporary in nature means for a short period of time and some of the salts may uh, remain present in the water for long so temporary hardness is nothing but the hardness due to which there will be no leather definitely but here the salt which are present are of calcium magnesium definitely what is the difference the difference lies in which salt i am talking about bicarbonates and carbonates so only and only if bicarbonates and carbonates of calcium and magnesium are present you can call that hardness is temporary in nature because it does not last long you can easily remove it how can you remove it by boiling the water so these are the example and uh, in fact magnesium carbonate will also come here so basically these four salts are responsible for rendering hardness to the water and that too temporary in nature temporary you can remove them easily now coming to the next one obviously permanent so in comparison to that temporary which was easily removed by boiling obviously this type of hardness you cannot easily remove by boiling that prevents the leather quite permanently and here also you need to specify which salts are responsible for it so if i can say conveniently except by carbonate and carbonate all salts are responsible for permanent hardness chlorides sulfates nitrates phosphates etc right so it would be very easy for you to understand by the formula itself like if i write magnesium sulfate as of now you can see that it is not bicarbonate and carbonate that means it's permanent in nature right if i write magnesium carbonate what would it be it's a carbonate so temporary let's say if i write calcium carbonate what it is temporary like if i write calcium chloride that's not a carbonate bicarbonate so obviously permanent let's say calcium bicarbonate what it would be obviously temporary so with the help of the formula itself you should be able to understand that if it is bicarbonate and carbonate it is temporary and rest all salts rest all comes in the category of permanent so just to revise the fact one more time temporary hardness is quite temporary in nature as simple as that that's quite permanent in nature but the difference lies in the reason behind it here the reason is bicarbonates and carbonates here all salts except bicarbonate and carbonate you can write one one example in both of the categories now it is also known as alkaline hardness and it is also known as non alkaline hardness can you identify why i think if we we'll focus on the ions which are responsible bicarbonates and carbonates right the ions or uh, maybe hydroxide uh, then you can say that these are alkaline in nature while these ions are not alkaline they are quite acidic you can see there right so you can call them as non alkaline at the same time carbonate hardness i guess you remember it was because of bicarbonate and carbonate so the another name of temporary hardness would be carbonate hardness and another name of permanent hardness would be non carbonate hardness the important point here is you can remove it by boiling so what happens is if you boil let's say if you have magnesium bicarbonate and if you heat it it changes to magnesium hydroxide fine and then uh, you can balance out the reaction by writing as co2 and all so basically magnesium gets converted to magnesium hydroxide calcium gets converted to calcium carbonate so when you boil the water this is the sign triangle is the sign of heating so when you are heating the water when you are boiling the water these ions gets converted into their respective precipitate 
and then you can simply filter them up so by filtering by simply removing uh, you can remove them right so by simple boiling they are going to convert their uh, into their respective stable form and that is how they render the hardness in a temporary manner because they easily get converted into their stable form while these of the ions are quite stable and they don't undergo this reaction very easily right for them you have to use certain compounds like you can use zeolite or permuted you can use lime soda lime uh, would be calcium hydroxide soda would be sodium carbonate then you can use ion exchange resin etc so these points are to be uh, like processes are to be used in order to remove the permanent hardness so i think with that i am able to give you a glimpse on what is uh, what you understand by the term hardness and then and its types so today uh, what we have discussed is only hardness and its types in the next lecture i would focus more on calculation of hardness uh, that's all for today so thank you